after all what we see in this uh, image is a simple low pass filter so we know that low pass filter is nothing but which passes uh, uh, low frequencies and after a specific cut off frequency it starts attenuating the high frequency signals right so that's what the definition we know and uh, uh, we have we might have learned about this in academics um, and also some of the guys who are already uh, professionals in electronics must have used this circuit uh, uh, in either uh, uh, a standalone filters or uh, uh, signal filtering or power filtering so these are uh, the applications that we come across for this uh, um, filters so this filter if you see uh, specifically the low pass filter which we are talking can be formed um, majorly by two ways either uh, uh, we use a simple <coughs> R and a C or L and a C uh, so both of them uh, can be used to form um, a low pass filter so the uh, attenuation specs wise uh, um, but the functionality wise if you see both um, can be used as a low pass filter uh, but in scenarios where uh, example if you take uh, <coughs> a power supply so power supply input definitely we need a filter there right considering the uh, EMI uh, passing the EMI regulations uh, or EMIMC tests that we perform on the boards uh, definitely some kind of filtering is required because we might have some noise that shall be induced on the power supply level so specifically for those applications uh, we will have a LC filter which is used at the input and not uh, definitely the RC filter because RC filter introduces uh, um, the, a drop because of this resistor okay so basically the resistor acts as a current limiter and uh, you will have a drop uh, voltage drop across that resistor so when we are talking about uh, a power application and you have to use a low pass filter it is the LC filter that is preferred uh, whereas if you are using it for a simple uh, signal uh, um, to pass signal frequencies uh, uh, signals at uh, specific frequencies uh, uh, then we will use a RC filter so <coughs> uh, two scenarios here now coming to the actual uh, advantages and disadvantages if you see RC filter this is a simple circuit right you need an RC uh, R and a C um, and you can use it uh, as per your need but when it comes to L and C the inductor is the bulkier one and also costly one so the circuit wise you have more uh, um, issues so unless you need it uh, we definitely use only a simple RC filter rather than an LC filter that's how uh, a simple uh, um, usage of this filter will be so most of the guys uh, who um, use this LC and RC filter use them interchangeably uh, but uh, for a signal use an RC for a power use an LC so that's how it is uh, and then uh, let us uh, just see uh, the simulation here so we we have talked that uh, uh, with rc definitely there is a disadvantage of drop um, whereas lc uh, these are uh, these can be used uh, uh, near the power lines so let us try to simulate this circuit and see how they are going to perform so if you see here uh, if you see the so definitely uh, the inputs v1 and V2 both are the same mm, okay so we have we have drawn current here okay so let us uh, try to so this is uh, uh, the input here and uh, this is the input here if you see both of them are the same they, they are uh, uh, they are they have overlapped against each other so if I example delete this you see the green waveform around the same area because they the specs are the same right so now if uh, in the same scenario if you want uh, um, the output to be uh, probed so let us probe uh, the output on a RC filter so, and then if you try to see this and then if you just try to probe C as well so okay 
you can see the waveforms here so for a specific scenario um, we have tried to um, probe the output of R and C and um, we have given um, so if you see the frequency here so we have given 1 kilo H uh, so uh, 1 kilo H frequency is considered as uh, uh, the parameter uh, the input so you can see here there is a lot of attenuation uh, that is that is coming up uh, and then for the signals especially this, this is a signal right uh, what we have taken and then uh, for a RC you see that uh, uh, <coughs> uh, the signal is proper so because if you see our actual specs are the DC level uh, offset is 2.5 and then uh, the amplitude is 2.5 that means the peak to peak is uh, uh, shall vary from 0 to 5 volts uh, so if you see the RC circuit it is starting from 0 and then going till 5 but there is uh, a voltage drop that is associated with this uh, but if you see the inductor because of the um, charge and discharge uh, um, <coughs> of this capacitor and storage capabilities of this inductor you see that there is a uh, overshoot of the voltage uh, so this gives us a small hint that while using for signal applications ensure that uh, you select your inductor properly uh, whereas uh, a RC filter has given us a straight away the desired waveform uh, without any issues if you take a high frequency here okay example let us assume we take 10 kilo H okay and then here also let us assume we take 10 kilo H Now you can see here there is lot of uh, um, signal attenuation that has happened which is expected uh, but uh, <clears throat> definitely um, the attenuation is not uh, to the expected level there is uh, still some voltage that is existing uh, so uh, we have to tune around these uh, um, R and C such that uh, we have a proper uh, uh, attenuation so uh, it, it, it is again uh, a design level thing where uh, you have to um, select uh, the resistor and the capacitor and then uh, uh, the inductor and the capacitor in the LC filter uh, to uh, have a proper uh, uh, cutoff so <clears throat> simple circuitry uh, but still uh, there are uh, a lot of implications we cannot uh, directly say uh, I want a specific FC uh, just uh, try out uh, a R and a C uh, the R need to be selected properly and also inductor need to be selected properly such that uh, um, you uh, should not have issues with respect to the actual functionality of the circuit uh, a, a, so simple circuit but uh, requires more uh, uh, design expertise uh, hope uh, we gave some glimpse of uh, how this operates uh, uh, please let us know if you have any questions uh, uh, please uh, uh, post your comments uh, please like and subscribe to our channel uh, thank you